Hello and welcome to the 18th session of Physics 9. Uh, this is our CJ and I hope that uh, you still remember the previous session because uh, it is actually quite related. It's actually very much related to this. Pero meron lang tayong para mga bagong uh, inputs about the topic conservation of momentum. Uh, this is based on the 7E uh, based self-learning module in Science 9 which I wrote for my, ma for my master's degree. Particularly in Unit 4, Book 20, pages 18 to 20. This session is divided into the following parts. Uh, the first part is gather information, discussion on inelastic collision. So you remember in the previous session, elastic collision yung pinag-usapan natin. The second uh, part naman is gather information problem solving. Uh, we will be looking at one sample problem. And then the last uh, part naman is gather information problem solving. It's a problem on inelastic collision. And, ho and I'm hoping that you can independently solve for this because uh, we're also going uh, to check your work right in this video lesson. And so let's uh, jump in. Uh, for the uh, no, for the second type of uh, of this collision of collision, which is inelastic collision, the objects are also going to move towards each other. Okay, so just like in elastic collision, there is this uh, particular movement of objects towards each other, and then they're gonna collide. However, uh, in this type of collision, the total amount of kinetic energy is actually decreasing. Okay, because it was spent in the deformation of the objects that collided. And uh, in this kind of collision as well, you notice na aside from the deformation, meron, also, meron ding nangyayaring parang, uh, parang isang direction kung saan sila nagpupunta. Such as uh, in this visualization. Okay, so, nung una, itong si, uh, kumbaga, itong si M1, uh, dun sa elastic collision after the collision dapat actually siya lang yung nagbabalik sa may bandang left and uh, M2 is supposed to be going towards the right right? now M2 is also going towards the left after being deformed in the collision Ayan. so kapag ganito paano kaya ang computation? the total momentums of the system is preserved after the collision, let's be clear on that. And it can it can be explained using the following formula, which is, by the way, similar to the formula ng mga, ela inelast ng mga elastic collision. Okay, so parehong-pareho lang ang formula ng inelastic collision doon sa formula ng elastic collision. Kaya lang, meron tayong parang mga inexpect na changes in, this, in these kinds of sample problems, which is, we'll, which is going to be discussed in the next part. Ayan. So for the sample problem, two, ki two 3.3 .3 kilogram metallic balls are actually moving to each other, towards each other, with the same velocity of 3.5 meters per second. Okay, so we can imagine that to be like this. So mass 1 and mass 2 are moving towards each other and they have the same um, weights and they also have the same velocities. Now, they collided and they both got deformed after the collision. They had similar directions. In this case, they are both going towards the left, which is actually the negative x-axis. Again, so it's similar to the visualization. It's very much similar to the visualization that uh, we had in the discussion prior to this sample problem. Now, what is the velocity of the yellow metallic ball if the purple metallic ball has zero meters per second velocity now take note the purple metallic ball which is this one is uh, going towards the left okay so we have to be sensitive when it comes to their directions because uh, their directions are actually dictating what kind of sign they will be bearing among the givens now, speaking of the givens, the mass of M1 is actually 3.3 kilograms. For the velocity of M1, it's 3.5 meters per second since it, is, since it is going to the right along the positive x-axis. M2 naman is uh, weighing 3.3 kilograms whereas its velocity is negative 3.5 since it is going to the left along the negative x-axis. Now, 
V1 prime, this is the uh, velocity of mass 1 after the collision is 4 meters per second. But since it was going towards the left, it's negative. And then what we're looking for is V2 prime. Okay, so this is uh, what we're looking for. Yung velocity ni mass 2 after nung collision. Alright. Now, for the solution, we will be, of course, using the same formula that is similar to the formula we used doon sa elastic collisions. And then, we'll head on to substituting the givens. I am hoping that you are, you are already very much disciplined when it comes to the signs. Remember that these signs are going to dictate what kind of answer you're gonna get, okay? So, it is really important that you are sensitive when it comes to these kinds of things. Now, after substituting the givens, we are going to carry out the operation. So first, uh, you multiply uh, the uh, parentheses and then you are going to uh, fix the sign. So this is negative and that's uh, an addition. So what you're going to do is uh, you're going to uh, apply the loss of integers and you'll get negative. In here naman, you multiplied them. The parentheses went uh, first. Uh, however, here you cannot really uh, do, you know, actual mul multiplication since V2 prime does not have an absolute value. So what you do is you just uh, put them together like this. Now, on the other side, it will be zero because, you know, parehong pareho sila ng absolute value. Whereas on the other side, it's still 13.2 kilogram meters per second minus 3.3 kilograms meters per uh, kilograms V2 prime. Now, um, we need to get V2 prime and it's already multiplied uh, by 3.3 kilograms. So what we do now is uh, we are going to remove this 13.2 kilograms meters per second and uh, actually uh, transpose it to the other side. But uh, we don't believe in such a term. Huh? I mean, that is not an actual operation. Transposition is not an actual mathematical operation. So what we do here... Yes, we're going to, since it's positive, we are going to subtract 13.2 kilograms meters per second from both sides of the equation. So in here, you, you subtract it. On the other side, you also, you also subtract it from zero. And obviously, this is, this is going to only result to negative 13.2 kilograms meters per second, whereas on the other side, it will be canceled entirely. All right? Now, uh, this 13.2 kilograms meters per second, you divide it by 3.3. And uh, this one, 3.3 kilograms, you divide it by 3.3 kilograms. So it gets cancelled on the other side. Again. Now, what you get here is going to be the following. So V2 prime is equal to negative 4 meters per second. Alright. Now, um... This means that zero that uh, negative four meters per second is the velocity of the yellow metallic ball, and since it's negative, it's going also to the left, which verifies our answer. All right, all right. Now we're done with the sample problem. Let's now move towards the problem, a problem on inelastic collision. Now on in uh, on this problem on inelastic collision, uh, what we have to uh, work on are two 6 kilogram metallic balls that are moving towards each other with the same velocity of 9 meters per second. Again, so medyo, uh, yeah, wala tayong mga decimal uh, places dito. So we're expecting actually as well na medyo lalaki yung ating um, mga values for this problem. Now, we visualize them as uh, like this, and then they collide, and similar then, they're gonna be deformed. And they're going to only uh, go towards one direction. Now, what is going to be the velocity of the yellow metallic ball if the purple metallic ball has a velocity of 8.6 meters per second? That's negative because it's going to the left. Alright. Now, I want you to uh, make sure that uh, you take some time to solve that problem yourself. And once you're through, go back to this video and play it so we can uh, work on it together. Go ahead. Now, if you're done, 
Let us proceed with answering it. The following are the givens. M1 has uh, 6 kilogram uh, mass and it is moving 9 meters per second because it's towards the uh, positive x axis. M2 naman is uh, 6 kilograms and uh, it's moving negative 9 meters per second because, because it is moving towards the negative x axis. Now, after the collision, V1, that's M1's velocity, is now a negative 8.6 meters per second because it is now moving towards the negative x-axis. Remember, it was 9 meters per second before because it was going towards the right, but this time it's moving towards the left after the collision, so it's going to be negative. Now, we're going to, looking, to be looking na lang for the uh, V2 prime, which is... The velocity of M2 after the collision. Okay, so now we're going to head towards the solution. We'll be using the same uh, formula. So it's M1V1 plus M2V2 is equal to M1V1 prime plus M2V2 prime. Now, uh, we also substitute the givens. So uh, the M1 is 6 kilograms. V1 is 9 meters per second plus M2, which is 6 kilograms. And V2 is negative 9 meters per second. M1 is 6 kilograms and V1 prime is negative 8.6 meters per second. Now M2 is still 6 kilograms whereas V2 prime is unknown. Alright, in the next uh, slide, we're going to just uh, to simply continue the operation. So we multiply the uh, the we uh, kumbaga make peace with the ano with the parentheses muna okay and then uh, over here making peace with the parentheses and then in here we still can we're still deciding what to do with them okay and now uh, we also we now made peace with the uh, sign so that's plus that's addition and this is negative so the result uh, will be following na lang the uh, rule of integers so it's going to be a subtraction and then on the other side, it's going to be 51.6 minus 6 kilograms V2 prime. On the other side, uh, on this uh, step, uh, this will be 0, equivalent to 0. Whereas on the other side, it's 51.6 kilograms meters per second. Ayan. And then uh, over here naman is uh, minus 6 kilograms V2 prime. Now, over here will be uh, subtracting 51.6 kilograms meters per second from both sides so that it will be uh, transferred towards the other side of the equation, making it negative. And then that negative 51.6 kilograms meters per second is going to be divided by 6 kilograms so that we can cancel it out from V2 prime over here, okay? Which now leaves us with negative 8.6 meters per second as the value for V2 prime. Now, you might get a positive uh, no, a positive uh, result from this one pero actually if the illustration is showing us that it is going to the left then it is really going to be positive uh, it's really going to be negative okay so the yellow metallic ball is moving at uh, negative 8.6 meters per second and that is going towards the left all right we're done discussing and also practicing on solving problems related to inelastic collision. I am hoping that uh, you learned a lot uh, by uh, watching and by uh, performing the, uh, the, the, sol the solution for the problem that were uh, presented to you in the 18th edition of Physics 9. Alright, so this is Sir CJ and I'm hoping that uh, I will see you in the next video lesson.